So, do you have any hurricane in your life? <laughs> you know, hurricane, it's, it's, when we talk about hurricane, we usually refer to, we think about natural disasters. We think about how people are displaced, houses are destroyed. Things are pretty much shaken to their very roots. Right? That's what we think about. But let's try and look at the positive sides of this. There are some people in our lives that might be tactless. They do not know, basically, that they're not concerned about how you feel. They just say the way they think they feel. And you go deal with it how you want to deal with it. We live in a world where we cannot entirely dictate how people would frame things to tell us. We live in a world where we cannot really control how people would push things out to us. But we can control our filters. We can control how we filter those things. We can control what we take and we can control what we use. We can control how we respond. Filtering is everything. Think about how what we learn from every situation where people say things without necessarily thinking, without necessarily minding. But sometimes, even if they do mind, they just do not know, they do, do not, they have not really perfected the art of, of persuasiveness. Or maybe they've not perfected or they've not really grown or they're still growing when it comes to when it when it comes to developing tactfulness but they've got to say it. it's your job to take what they have whatever they've said and make the best of it let me tell you a story i have a four and a half year old child who is sometimes he could get very restless and well, I love him very much. We all love him in the family. So when we attend programs or we are in a place that requires quiet, many times we would give him an electronic device. It could be a phone, a tablet, whatever it is, for him to there setting programs or learning stuff in there for him to use it just to keep him calm while the rest of us attend to what we need to attend to. So on this day, not too long ago, we attended this program. It was a huge, it was a huge program. It was a big convention. And we had people from different walks of life attend the same program. So my little boy was also there. And we gave him an electronic device to keep him, to occupy his mind while, to occupy him while we focus on whatever was happening. So people had come from different walks of life to listen. So as we were there, he started playing, uh, he started listening to a particular stuff, I mean, on the device. But what we usually would do was we would lower the volume and also instruct him to lower the volume. But this time he was really excited and he wanted to hear what they were saying or what was the sound and everything. The sound was, truth be told, was distracting most people, okay, because they were trying to listen. Yes, the, the speaker, the loudspeaker or the uh, public address system was loud enough, but then this was also getting into people's heads. And there were a couple of people that felt, okay, he's a child, well, let's ignore him. But then there was a lady who nicely, she was nice enough, but she was also a bit blunt to say he is, I'm really getting distracted. Can you help fix this? So before now, I was, we were, we were all lost as to, okay, so how do we manage this? So when the, in the midst of all of this, I just thought to myself, this challenge must have been felt by, must have been, someone else would have faced this challenge before of being able to, wanting to control the sound, the volume on your device. So even when your child is using the device, it will not distract other people. So I took him out. I took him out of the, the audience and we went outside. And then I took the device from him. He was really angry I took the device. And then I immediately Googled a way volume. I just put volume control. 
and a lot of information came out but i wanted to go back into i didn't have time to reach out just going through how to and then i figured an app that i could use to control the volume so i could i could either completely mute the, the, the device or i could allow the device to so let's say the volume goes from one to ten i could actually say it shouldn't go above two and i could lock it there and i downloaded the the app and went inside and I put the device on mute and locked it. And no matter what he did, he couldn't go beyond. He couldn't, he could just see the pictures, the motion movement and all of that, but never to raise the volume. It was a bit frustrating for him, you know, but we got that done. What's the moral of this story? All my years in life, never thought about that app until I faced a situation where I needed my boy around me. I needed to be focused on what was going on. I needed a situation where we would not distract other people. And all of these things needed to be done. There has to be a solution to sync all of this together where everyone wins. So it forced me to look for a solution. But it took one woman to speak out bluntly for me to get up. I know my wife was there. My wife was, she was a little bit uncomfortable. But immediately I thought about it. I said, listen. This is a voice telling you, look for a solution. So in life, wherever you are today, it could be at work, it could be in your family, it could be your relationships, it could be finance, wherever you are, are there voices that are talking to you, but you think, oh, they're too blunt. Oh, I don't like the way they talk. You don't have to like the way people talk, especially those who are telling you the truth. You just need to pick whatever they're saying, forget how it is being said, and see what can I do with this. You have to go through it and then determine to yourself, oh, this is garbage, and throw it away. Or you have to go through and say, in this garbage, can I, speak, can I become a scavenger? You'll scrape through and pick something valuable that you could actually use, something like that. I hope that example makes sense to you. Okay, using it in a, in a positive way. So looking at it from that point of view, you then would have to filter, pick whatever is needed and determine how you want to respond. That way you become more effective at a, at a personal level. That way you grow. That way you pick wisdom. That way you no longer see how people say things to you as some form of stumbling block, but rather as a stepping stone because you're able to pick the lessons. I hope these gets to you wherever you are whatever happens going forward you will not just react to whatever people say because of how they say but think about what is there truth in whatever they say is there even if there is no truth because sometimes we could be completely blindsided we could be so covered in our reasoning that we could completely out of anger say look there's nothing to pick out of this when the anger subsides in your calm and quiet moment, try to take the person out of the picture. That's the messenger out of the picture and focus on the message. My name is Stallone Obremi Samuel. My sincere desire for you, my friend, is that you go on succeeding by becoming a better version of yourself. Until I come your way again, bye for now.